Today, farmers, waterfowl hunters, and wildlife managers in northwest Oregon and southwest Washington face a problem for which there is no easy solution. Several factors have combined to create almost unresolvable difficulties. Among them are abundant Canada geese, which depredate on agricultural croplands during winter and spring months. Several subspecies of Canada geese within the wintering population, which require special protection and management efforts to help them recover. And the difficulty of distinguishing one subspecies of Canada goose from another. There are seven subspecies of Canada geese which winter in northwest Oregon and southwest Washington. Those subspecies include the Aleutian, Cackler, Dusky, Lesser, Taverners, Vancouver, and Western. Unfortunately, to many inexperienced goose hunters, all Canada goose subspecies look alike. Let's see how we can distinguish one goose from another. This is the smallest of our geese, only about the size of a mallard. The cackler has a short neck, a stubby bill, and a puffy head. Because of its smaller size, the cackler has a faster wing beat in comparison to larger geese. Birds are generally dark in color, but young birds are lighter in color. This subspecies is not very wary, but does fly in large flocks. The high-pitched yelping or cackling call is distinctive and useful for identification in the field. The bill length is under 32 millimeters. Some birds have yellow neck collars. The Aleutian is a small goose with a sharply sloped forehead and usually has a dark breast color. A conspicuous broad white neck ring completely encircles the lower neck. Some birds have colored leg band. Taverners Canada geese are generally smaller than dusky geese with a 20 to 30 percent weight difference between the two subspecies. The Taverner's Goose is substantially smaller than the Western or Vancouver subspecies. The Taverner's Goose is about the same size as the Lesser and is larger than the Cackler. Color by itself is a primary factor to look for. Although some Taverner's may be quite dark and some Dusky Geese may be relatively light in color, Color is still the best indicator to distinguish between dusky and taverner's geese. Some hunters find voice differences meaningful, but others can hear no difference. Distinguishing geese by voice sounds is a learned experience. Mixed flocks of geese can make this technique even more difficult. This goose flies in large flocks, sometimes exceeding several hundred. It is wary often circling for a considerable time before landing. This subspecies prefers large, open fields. Wing shape is helpful for many hunters. The dusky wing tends to be broader in proportion to its length, while the taverner's wing often appears narrower and longer in relation to the size of the bird. Bill length on the taverner's goose falls between 32 and 40 millimeters. The Lesser Canada Goose is the same size as the Taverners, or slightly larger. The Lesser Canada Goose falls in size between the Taverners and the Dusky Canada Goose. The breast of the Lesser is differentiated from the Dusky by its much lighter coloration. Blue neck collars have been used on Lesser Canada Geese, but not on other subspecies. The light breast coloration is similar to that of the Western. The Lesser Canada Goose often has a more buffy cast compared to the gray of the Taverners. 
bill length is in the same range as the taverners, between 32 and 40 millimeters, but it may extend into the lower range of the dusky. The dusky Canada goose is the subspecies of most concern. The dusky Canada goose generally has a brown cast to body feathers although the degree of darkness may be variable. The dusky is larger than the cackler, Aleutian, taverners, and lesser. The dusky is smaller than the Vancouver or Western. The dusky is most likely to be confused with the taverners. The dusky wing tends to be broader in relation to its length than the taverners which appears longer and narrower in relation to body size. Only red neck collars have been placed on duskies to monitor the populations. If a bird seems unwary, comes right into your blind, flies low, etc., be cautious. It may well be a dusky. Duskies are fairly vocal geese and generally fly in smaller flocks, usually fewer than 40. They are less wary than other Canada geese subspecies and will readily use small fields, even those ringed with brush. Bill length on the dusky falls between 40 and 50 millimeters. Please note that we don't expect you to be able to identify the bill length of a bird in the air. We use bill length at our check stations as one objective measure of the size of geese. The Vancouver subspecies is a large bird with dark breast color. The bill length exceeds 50 millimeters. No neck collars have been used on this subspecies and wintering numbers in Washington and Oregon are minimal. This is the largest of our seven subspecies with a very light breast color. It is the only goose that nests in Oregon and Washington. The wing beat of the western is relatively slow. The bill length exceeds 50 millimeters. Geese in the lower Columbia River and Willamette Valley areas have been marked with white colored neck collars bearing black letter number codes. These birds tend to fly in small flocks. Other species of geese also found in our area are the white-fronted and snow goose. Hunters participating in early September Canada goose seasons are more likely to encounter these species. But please remember, the September season is closed for white fronts. <laughs>